apologise. There seems to be a technical issue. Just give us a second. Okay. Hi everyone, welcome to College Cambria. My name's Sarah Jane. Uh, Borada everybody, a at College Cambria. Um, today we're going to be talking to you about the hair and beauty and media makeup courses that we offer um, here at College Cambria. Hi, my name's Sam. I'm going to be talking to you specifically about level two and level three beauty. Uh, but before I do, I would like you to um, watch a short um, video clip on life at College Cambria. We oui. Our Cambria. We were rated excellent by Eston inspectors. We inspire success. We provide learners with work experience which enables them to have the very best employment opportunities. We are the highest performing college in Wales. We lead the way with our world-class facilities. We partner with top universities to bring degrees to your doorstep. We have raised over £500,000 for charity since 2013. We impact positively on the wider communities we serve. We change thousands of lives every year. We can change yours. Your success starts here. Hi, um, we are going to talk first of all about Level 2 Beauty. So we offer Level 2 Beauty at both our Yale and Deeside sites. Uh, this year Level 2 Beauty is going to run over five days a week. So this will include three days a week with your tutor. Um, you will do theory, anatomy, physiology and uh, develop your practical skills as well. Two of those days will be sent in, spent in the commercial salon, um, developing your skills further until you can be assessed um, and run a commercial um, column. So it is classed as work experience. Uh, the units that we cover in Level 2 Beauty are health and safety. And this year in particular, we're going to be focusing on uh, PPE, sanitization, sterilization, making sure that you're you're able to work safely um, in close proximity with your clients. Client care and communication, which looks at your communication skills, um, dealing with clients that you've never met before and um, doing client consultations. You will also work some time on reception. So you'll be answering the phone and dealing with the queries and um, what else, uh, reception, uh, making bookings and taking payments as well. The practical skills are manicure and pedicure, uh, facial makeup, so it's makeup application and makeup instruction, and waxing and eye treatments. Uh, so that is uh, level two beauty, and that's over both sites. Level three, we've got two, we're running two level three courses this year. So at D side, it's makeup and nails. Um, level three is over three days as opposed to five days. 
Um, so it is two days with your tutor, one day in commercial. The um, units will be looking at um, nail enhancements, body massage and makeup. Uh, you'll be doing fashion and photographic makeup, airbrushing and camouflage. Um, as well as the three days a week, this includes a, um, an evening session. So this is in D side, this includes the evening session. In Yale, we're doing um, level three massage therapies. So again, it's run over three days, the same way as it is in D side. We will be looking at health and safety. Health and safety is a very important unit and it is in every single course that we do. You will be doing body massage, uh, massage using uh, pre-blended aromatherapy oils. You will be doing uh, stone therapy, so that's hot and cold stones, and Indian head massage. You also have, um, with the level three massage therapies, a research task. So it will be looking at the origins and principles of massage complementary and alternative medicines. And that is level three um, over in DSED and in Yale. So um, hair and media makeup, we offer two different levels. We offer level two and we offer level three. So in the level two hair and makeup artistry course, we cover everything from basic makeup application and basic hair styling. So from uh, shampoo and conditioning through to um, uh, electrical equipment and then also to hair up as well. Um, we will do basic body art, um, face painting, spray tanning and also lash and brow treatments um, this runs over three days a week the same as um level three um and we are solely based at yale campus in wrexham um our level three uh media makeup program is special effects theatrical hair and media makeup um, on that, we do advanced face and body painting. Um, we will offer media makeup. So when we're looking at casualty effects and media um, aging effects, we will do airbrush makeup. So that will include um, a generic uh, fashion photographic makeup with airbrush, but then also including that into our body art. We will be looking into the application of prosthetics and bald cap application um, to enhance our images. Um, and we'll also be looking into creative hair styling as well. So what we're looking at with level two and with level three uh, media makeup is we are looking at creating portfolio images for you to take forward through into industry. So whether you're looking at level two beauty therapy, level three, um, or level two and three media makeup, um, all the qualifications are assessed the same. So we are assessed through practical assessments that will be carried out in um, your commercial salon or in your workshops. Um, and then the theory aspect is um, assessed through assignments and also online exams. At level two, uh, whereas you are qualified to work in industry, uh, we strongly recommend that you progress on to level three to further develop your skills to, um, you, you can, um, you know, you can look at, at specific um, areas that you want to specialize in. Um, but once you finish level three, there are so many options available to you. So you can go on to university, there are lots of different courses. You could do um, university um, courses in spa, in salon management, in complementary therapies, in media makeup. There's lots of different opportunities for you. If at level, after level three you choose to go into industry, again, you've got lots of opportunities. So you will be qualified to work in a salon. Uh, in a day spa or retreat, um, usually known as a destination spa, um, the cruise liners, uh, TV and film if you're doing media mm -hmm. makeup, concessions, which means the um, product or makeup counters in um, you know, in department stores, a fashion and catwalk, again, if you're doing um, the media makeup, um, but there's also an opportunity for self-employment. So renting a chair, going mobile, um, or even, you know, eventually owning your own business. So with every course that we do in beauty therapy and media makeup, um, it is mandatory that you need to buy a kit and a uniform. So to be able to get access to those kits and uniform and to get all the details upon that, you need to access the Collar Cambria website, um, find your course, and then on the home page of your course, you need to scroll down right to the bottom, and there is a purple box that says uh, download. 
So you click onto that and then it has all of the details about the um, kit and uniform that you need to purchase as part of your course. It's really essential that you have this as soon as you can start the course so that we can start teaching straight away. Um, we have been sent in some questions, um, so we're going to have a look at answering some of those before we start answering some of the questions that you might have for us now. So somebody asked about work experience. We do timetable one week of work experience um, into your programme, uh, so it will be done in college time. You will need to find your work experience yourselves, which is a good opportunity for you to have a look at what uh, businesses are out there, what you are attracted to, what suits you, and um, to take on your work experience in a place that's right for you. But uh, we also need to consider that your one day a week in commercial salon um, is also uh, work experience because uh, you will run the salon as you would if you were in industry. Um, one of the questions that we have been asked, uh, will we have the opportunity to practice on real life clients? So the answer to that is yes. Um, so once you have um, been taught your new skill, you will initially be working on each other within your group to be able to do that first. And uh, once you become confident and competent in that, um, then you will move to working in commercial salon and we offer those treatments to paying clients. So that could be anybody that books into the salon for you to be able to practice your skills and also to be assessed. At the college, we also offer apprenticeships. Now, apprenticeships are just an alternative way of learning. So we offer a range of level two and level three apprenticeships in beauty, nails and massage. Uh, the difference is the training is delivered in the salon um, and the assessment is also done in the salon. You would come into college to do exams, but everything else would be work based. So it is it's a good um, alternative if maybe college isn't your thing and you want to go out into industry. Um, all apprentices are under work-based learning, um, but if we're here if you need any more information on that. Um, and another question that we've been asked is, are we able to take part in events? Now, um, as part of being in College Cambria in the hair and beauty department, we have um, a big range of events that we go to um, every single year. So that starts with things like trade shows. So trade shows will be new to you all, but there is um, individual hairdressing, beauty therapy, media makeup trade shows, which happen all around the UK. Um, and we try to get you all to go to one of those trade shows because it's a really good idea um, and gives you some experience of what it actually is like to work in industry. And that could also be another form of progression as well. Um, so in the past, we've done trade shows. We've done in-house talks from employers in the area um, about what they look for in their employees. Um, and we also have industry providers that come in. So we've had in the past um, Aston and Fincher come in and they do some um, different workshops and things with us. Uh, we've also had um, in the past year, we've had a range of masterclasses by some of the um, makeup concessions that we spoke about earlier. So we've uh, partnered up with NYX, um, Urban Decay and Bobby Brown. Um, and learners have attended masterclasses um, and worked with some guest key artists from in the area. Um, so the area itself within Hair and Beauty, we work a lot with external businesses um, to provide some opportunities for you all. So whilst you're learning, you're also getting some opportunities within the industry. Um, we've done fashion shows in the past that we've worked alongside some of the shops from in Chester. Uh, we do open evening and we do a lot of work with charity and do some charity events and support those. Uh, with regards to media makeup, we have um, done some events such as a crime scene simulation, which happened last year. Um, and the learners went along um, and worked alongside Glyndor University, where we supported them with the hair and media makeup for a crime scene simulation, which was really fun and exciting when we did it. We're hoping in the um, next year or so to also be working with the North Wales Ambulance Service with their training team and um, to help give them a real realistic kind of view when they come to do their training um, as paramedics. Um, so though that's just kind of a small amount really of what we do event wise and we're always looking for new, more new and exciting things to be able to offer for you as well. We've just had a question in about the price of the kits. 
Um, and there is funding available. Um, what you would need to do is go to student services and to put in your request um, as soon as you can, um, because it, it, there's lots of different types of funding, but the sooner you get in there and ask for that funding, uh, the sooner they can um, start the process. Okay, so we are open up to some live questions now. So if there's anybody out there that wishes to ask us some questions, we are here to help answer those and guide you. But just have a look, see if we've got any more questions that we've have been sent in previously that we can answer. Okay, um, so we, it depends on what um, course that you want to do as to where you study. So level two can be done, it, it is the same qualification, so it can be done at Yale or Deeside depending on your preference. Um, if you if you are already finished your level two and you want to do level three, then it will it will depend on which one because they are at the different qualifications at level three at different sites media makeup is just at Yale so if that's what you want to study then it will be at Yale there is transport available um, again student service is fabulous um, anything any any questions they can't answer they will direct you to somebody who can so we do have a, a transport department don't we yeah. um, so but I would contact student services and they will they will sort it all out for you and you can have your bus pass so that you, you know you'd be able to get there I believe the um, th this is a question about um, interviewing with the current um, situation that we're in at the moment. And from what I'm led to believe, I think they're being done online, aren't they? Mm -hmm. So p possibly, you know, um, something similar to this, but with, with two-way interaction. Um, that's yeah. what, what, what I believe. That's um, going through student services. So, um, Olivia, when you asked the question, how will the interview process work? Uh, with the current COVID situation. So if you have um, applied for a course with us, um, student services will be in touch with you um, to discuss um, the interview process um, based upon your application. I hope that answers your question. Okay, so we'll just give it a few more moments, see if we've got any more live questions to answer. Um, but otherwise, please, um, if you do have any further questions about any of the courses, then please do get in touch with um, Colic Cambria. Um, oh, we've got another one here. So, Caitlin, uh, when do we confirm our places for September? So, you will receive an email to confirm your place. Um, it usually comes out around about the week of GCSE results, results yep. um, in mid-August. Um, so you'll get an email and it will ask you to confirm your place, which will send you onto a link. So yeah, um, you can do it online. Yeah, you do it all online. Mm -hmm. That's fine. 
Well, this has not been completely confirmed. This is Emily asking about where the lectures will be. Obviously, practical will have to be in a salon um, here. Um, how that will look, we're still not 100% sure because we, we want to just make sure that it's absolutely right when we do do it. We are planning for um, lectures that can be done um, either through Zoom or online to be done online. Um, but until we get to September and we know exactly what we're looking at, you know, we're, we're planning pretty much for every eventuality, aren't we? Yeah, we have done. And, mm -hmm. you know, we're just trying to make sure that we're doing the best by everybody um, and that we've got access for all as well to be able to access the courses. Um, but practically, it will have to be in workshop within the college. Um, and then theory based could be online or in the classroom as well. But as soon as we get more information and things, that come through to us um, and what we're planning then we will let you all know um induction week will be your big week to find out how we're going to be planning the whole year ahead Okay, so I think that is it for the questions online at the moment. I hope we've covered everything that you need to know about um, beauty therapy and media makeup. Um, as I say, if you have any further questions about any of the courses, um, then please um, email the college um, or email student services. So, oh, we've got one last one that's come through. So it's from Molly. Do I need to have experience with makeup and hairstyling to get on the course? Molly, you don't. Uh, we're going to be teaching you from the very basics um, for you to be able to go out there and get further industry experience. Um, we will be looking at everything from the basics, from hair and makeup. But if you come in with some previous experience, then that's great because all we're going to do is just to help stretch and challenge those, um, those skills and help to push you forward as well with that. So the contact email address that you will need to get in touch with if you have any further questions is studentservices at cambria.ac.uk. So Sam and I would like to thank you for today. We've had a really nice time introducing you to beauty therapy and media makeup here at College Cambria. Um, and we hope to see you all soon. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye.